we had an idea this past week to look at teams that made the playoffs last year that now on DraftKings Sportsbook are favored to miss the postseason. One of those teams is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who a little bit ago we saw on Twitter, the Pittsburgh Steelers have announced they are signing Mike Tomlin to a three-year extension that'll take him through 2027. But this is a team last year that ended up with 10 wins. They ended up in the playoffs. But you look at their schedule this year, it is a gauntlet the back end of the year. The division with which they play in is very, very challenging. Many people think this is the first year that Tomlin does have a losing season. Plus 185 to make the playoffs, minus 235 to miss. How are you breaking down the Steelers' postseason chances in 2024? Well, I think it's all schedule-related because I think ultimately they're a better team than they were last year, and they won 10 games with no quarterback, right? Mason Rudolph came in late in the year, and J.J. Watt was hurt. Excuse me, T.J. Watt mm-hmm. got hurt on them. So, look, I, I, I never – I'm not going to be – I'm not going to be convinced – the schedule will determine the win losses. It's what we have to talk about at this time of the year because we're limited. We don't have games. So we talk about the potential of hard games down the road when I don't know if the Ravens are going to be a hard game in, in, on a Saturday. Maybe if, if they have a bunch of injuries or what about the Eagles? What happens if Jalen Hurts isn't playing and you got Kenny Pickett? How are you thinking about that game? You know, what about the Chiefs? If, if the Chiefs have Carson Wentz coming into play at Christmas Day? I don't know. I'm not trying to get anybody hurt. I just tend to not look at schedules and say, ah, it's a hard. Every game's hard. Why is Survivor so challenging for everybody? Because it's you can't predict. But yet we can look at the Steelers' schedule and predict easily that they're not going to win that because they have too many hard games. So if this is the case, then the Steelers should be the poster child for Survivor, especially late in the year. I don't buy that. Perception did move the market. While their season win total stayed at eight and a half, it was minus 130 to the over, now plus 125. What what did you make of the Steelers extending Tomlin, though? I know this was a big talking point at the end of last season. Well, I think it was, I mean, look, when you have a good coach and you you better keep that coach, why would you get rid of him? Mm -hmm. Like, the question is, who's better than Tomlin out there? You know, like, that's what I said about Belichick. Like, who's better than Belichick? Well, he can't win without Brady. Okay, can Be- can Tomlin win without Big Ben? Yeah, he can. They can all win if you get the right team. They're good coaches. They're hard to find, and so like when you get a good one, why would you want to go through it? I think I'd if he would sign for thirty years, I'd sign him for thirty. I mean, he's too good of a coach. I know some of the people in the analytical community don't like his game management, but. I know contrary to popular opinion, other than themselves, there's no perfect coach out there. And I think he's really good. And the fact he can win games and his team, it, his team takes on his personality, which is what you want, right? You want your team to be tough, to be physical, and to be willing to play in close games into the fourth quarter. You mentioned the quarterback, Michael, and I think that's so important about this Pittsburgh Steelers team. They have had abysmal quarterback play the last two years and they've still come out having winning seasons and I think that's a big credit to what Tomlin has been able to accomplish as a head coach let's see what they can do this year with uh, the interesting combo of Russell Wilson and Justin Fields how about the Cleveland Browns they're plus 150 to make the postseason this year minus 185 to miss had an 11 and 6 season last year went through five different quarterbacks Joe Flacco ends up leading them to the postseason late in the year but Deshaun Watson supposed to be back healthy what are your thoughts on their playoff odds I, I'm not you, – you're going to have a hard time – I mean, I like the Brownies. I'm just not sold that that's what they're going to do. I, I think they got to take a step back. I don't know where Nick Chubb is. And I think losing Billy Callahan as the offensive line coach hurts. I think the change of offensive staff hurts. And, and I'm not sold here that the culture within that building is so good, uh, could, considering the fact that Watson is, seems like he's dictating a lot of these moves. And so that troubles me because he hasn't played well. Look, I was a huge, I was a huge Deshaun Watson fan coming out of Clemson. I would have picked him if I were the Browns before they traded the pick away to the Houston uh, Texans. That you know they trade. That's how the Texans were able to get him. But to me, where he's let me down is his off the field behavior, character, and and it hasn't really, in terms of the changes around this coaching staff, are all to try to make him become a better player. Mm-hmm. 
go to the NFC South. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus 140 to make the playoffs. Minus 180 to miss. Coming off a year where year one under Baker Mayfield, they end up beating the Eagles 32-9 to in the wild card round. A close loss in Detroit. They're in round two. What do you think about their opportunity here? Bringing back Baker and Evans there on offense. You know, I was looking at when Matt when Matt came in with his who was the guy, right? Who was the, who are these two quarterbacks? I was kind of thinking it through and I was looking at it and I thought maybe that's uh maybe one of those quarterbacks is Derek Carr cuz he played really well late in the season, right? And it wasn't, but then when you look at Carr's last four or five games, he was unbelievable other than the Rams game when they had when everything was on the line, you know. So I think the I really think the Saints are the best team in the South. So I think it's going to be hard for the Bucks. I mean, look, they went into Tampa last year in Week 17 and won that game. They won that game, and they they won it convincingly. It wasn't as close as the 23-13 score indicated. Uh, the Saints are plus 340 in the NFC South, and I don't know if you agree or disagree with this, but I don't see two teams making the postseason from that division. So if you do like the Bucks to get back to the playoffs as well, plus 310 is going to be the better price than that plus 145 to make the playoffs. I, I do want to hit you with one more here real quickly before we have to end the show. The Los Angeles Rams, and I think I already know your answer here, but they made the postseason last year when a lot of people doubted them, thought they would not. They end up losing by a single point in the wild card round in Detroit. To make the playoffs, it's even money. To miss is minus 120. Could the Rams be a playoff team? I think they are a playoff team. I think they're going to be good. I think they've improved their defensive front. I know losing Aaron Donald's hard to do, right? I mean, that's impossible. But I do think they're going to be better. And I think as long as Stafford stays healthy, this is one of those teams that I look at on the schedule and say, okay, I don't really want to play them early. I definitely don't want to play them early. I'd rather play them late. I want to see how Stafford holds up. they got to handle that contract, see where he is. He's going to want to get paid. But I do think coaching, quarterbacking, and the roster. Now, Chris Shula has got to come through defensively like Raheem Morris did, but I think they're a better team. If Kobe Turner steps up on defense and Puka Nakua continues to grow off of the amazing season that he had a year ago, I definitely think that this Rams team is going to be one to contend with here. Uh, and that's unfortunate for me as a 49ers fan who would love San Francisco to continue their run <laughs> in the NFC Don't give up so West. easy, Stormy. I'm Come not on, giving that's not up. Like you. I'm just Come saying on. I wish for their failure. It's fine. 